Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, well it's nice to be back into the wheel review game since my injury. Uh, this is the first new wheel that I've received for testing since the Assassin A2 from the Goad broke my ankle, <laughs> which is about three and a half months ago now. And um, I can actually walk without uh, too much pain. With You wouldn't know I had broke my, my ankle. By the end of the day or long ride, I will end up starting to, to limp, unfortunately. I fully expect it's probably going to be a year before I'm totally, totally recovered. But uh, for the most part, I can have fun with wheels now. Uh, so a huge shout out to Jason at eWheels. Thanks, Jason, if you're watching this. I really appreciate your continued support. You know, I've known Jason now for um, about seven years, a little over seven years, I think. And uh, you know him personally. I've ridden with him. Jason's a great guy, huge supporter of the community. And I'm sure I'm not the only one person reviewer who said this. He's never, ever put any kind of uh, conditions on the review of wheels. He honestly wants our opinion, the good and the bad. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be giving you on the in motion, in motion V14, which is uh, the adventure. I thought it was the adventurer, but adventure. Uh, I'm really excited to get this wheel. Now, first of all, it's um, it's an IPX rated six wheel, I believe, and the battery is seven. It's probably the most waterproof wheel we generally will ever receive. And even the, the box is uh, wrapped in plastic. So in motion, it really means business when it comes to uh, <laughs> waterproofing. <clears throat> So, um, you know, I knew this wheel was coming out, and I remember having a discussion with um, uh, Bob, the CEO, at least at the time, of InMotion. This was probably early in the year. can't remember exactly when, but he was seeking input from various people in the community, so I gave him my input on a private call, and uh, one of the things I talked about was just how I thought that the suspension was probably the weakest part of their their wheels and that it, in my opinion the linkage I know that the you know veteran and extreme bowls still make the, the other I'm not sure what kind of suspension you'd call that but you know the uh, the fork suspension I guess but um, in my opinion the linkage based uh, shocks suspensions are the best just because they're they're more cus user custom customizable and uh, and that's what this is <laughs> so really really cool to see that 134 volt wheel 2400 watt hour uh, battery so it's, so and it's a 16 inch wheel uh, though if you measure you can't compare 16 inch wheels now to 16 inch wheels five, seven years ago. There, there would be classified more like an 18 inch wheel back then because of the diameter of the tire. But anyway, uh, just awesome specs in this wheel. Uh, spring suspension and uh, progressive spring apparently. So that would imply that it's going to be very hard to bottom this wheel out. So let me get all this plastic off. Okay. Uh, the packaging, you know, I think in motion, well, I'm not sure if this was a fair comparison. Um, it reminds me of uh, Ninebot, the quality in terms of, you know, the, the last wheel I owned from Ninebot was a Z10, and it was, to me, particularly at that time, what, 2018, 17, 
2018, I think, um, the quality on that wheel is wow compared to any other wheel. So in motion, kind of feels like an Apple type. I mean, the, the package, the quality of the wheels. I'm anticipating this to be kind of like a mini V13. And you might know what I thought of that wheel. I thought it was an amazingly built wheel. Okay. Side panel, interesting. So uh, this is already kind of looking cool. You know, our, our, because you look at the, is there a picture of this guy? Yeah, look at this wheel, right? It's kind of looking like most, a lot of the wheels from the gold right now with the battery packs. But of course, uh, we have to provide our panels to attach uh, our pads. So it looks like they're providing the pad, a pad the panel, double-sided tip, tape, 3M with Velcro pre-applied. So that is cool. Got two of those. This looks like a, a beefy charger. So it's a 134-volt wheel, US, US plug. Looks like some Allen wrench and some bolts. I'm not sure what that is. Manual. I want to look at this uh, charger. It's beefy. <laughs> 134 volt, 3 amp. Interesting. So. Uh, Just guessing, but it's probably a slightly higher higher caliber than what uh, Bagode ships with. And uh, unfortunately, it does not use. I would call. I mean, Bagode is the only company making 134 volt wheels, so I'm kind of going to call their their um, four pin connector the standard. And this is not. It's a five pin. So that's interesting. I've got options for charge fast charging, though so I will probably talk about later. Looks cool. I'm supposed to well, I don't know. There's directions which aren't I don't fully understand about how to remove the top, slide off this box, but I'm, I'm going to just see if I can lift the wheel out. Okay. Since this is a coil-based suspension, there's no air to fill, which is fantastic. You know, I've been converting some of my um, air shocks to coil. And yes, the coil is definitely a progressive. So let me get this wheel on the table here and I'll pull in the camera. The V14 is sitting on its front and I'll show you a better view of the front later, but for now, uh, I'm showing you the back of the wheel. Spoiler alert, I did turn the wheel on, unlocked it, and I had to um, apply firmer upgrade that I had no choice to do, but that went pretty smoothly. Basically, it didn't update the, it only updated the BMS firmware for each battery pack, so I had to do it four times. Uh, like I was anticipating, this wheel exudes quality. Uh, battery packs appear to be all metal. Uh, pedals 
our cast. Time will tell how well they will stand up to abuse. It doesn't appear that their standard size Gatway pedals or Big Old pedals certainly won't fit. I don't know. I can't recall the size of this for um, the V13 or the V12. Let me uh, let me measure. Get a metric ruler. Looks like it's about uh, I don't know. 48, 48 millimeters, don't quote me on that, but close, close to that. So the pedals might be something you would want to upgrade down the road. These spikes are not adjustable, but they seem comparable, comparable to what you see in the big old wheels in terms of uh, standard height and grippiness. So I think pedals will definitely function well. You, you can adjust the tension and it provides one adjustment point. The, the pedals have a decent dihedral angle to begin with, but if you want to add some more, they give you these shims with two screws. I will, I think I'll probably install those because I like kind of a steeper pedals, but um, clearly you could make your own thickness uh, spacers to adjust the dihedral angle. Does not look like you could make the pedals flat if you are someone who likes flat pedals. Orange looks like a, reminds me of, uh, let's see, reminds me of my extension cord. <laughs> so yeah, orange, love it or hate it, I don't know. Doesn't look too bad to me. This uh, panel looks like it, it's attached with two screws, probably a clip up here, clip or two. Very easy, guys, to paint your wheels. I've painted many wheels in the past. The plastic takes paint really well. I know, um, I know E Wheels is supplying a later batch with uh, black, but I wouldn't worry. Uh, I wouldn't worry. If you got the orange ones uh, and you don't like it, trust me, you can paint them very easy. Uh, what else to point out here? Again, this the suspension just shouts bagode, except uh, higher quality, <laughs> I believe. This is the bagode has uh, O-rings. That's about one quarter, the one quarter, one third, the thickness of this one so this is a beefy one so if you do bottom out this shock that's going to uh, protect the metal from hitting metal nice uh, mud guard and there's uh, another one in the front let me show you uh, and this these look like just reflective reflective uh, stickers on the sides and here's kind of a Kind of a soft, hard plastic. Uh, that should that should feel nice, I suspect. Let me uh, let me show you the suspension. The suspension linkages. I'm trying to remember. I, I think the specs. You can look at the specs, but I think it said 80 millimeter uh, travel. It again has a progressive uh, spring. And according to the numbers, it goes, let me get in there. The 600 pounds to 970 pounds. You have adjustment for rebound and adjustment on the top for compression. Basically, it looks very much like the shock that you get on S22, which is uh, fantastic. On the front of the battery packs and the bottom, you have these plastic. Uh, feels like the plastic is a firm plastic, but pliable. 
So that's going to take some of the abuse that might hit the hit the front and then the back. And I'll show you in a little bit is the kickstand covers this part. Kickstand is going to install. Like, like so. That's going to provide protection on lower battery packs in the back. This kickstand comes across as extremely tough. It uses engineered plastic. That's a technical term. <laughs> it's a really, it's a type of plastic that that um, comes across as totally indestructible. And it, now it's really easy. What I'm going to do right now. They provide you the four bolts and uh, this again really tough. I assume it's going to function nice as a back kickstand and uh, it's going to provide some r nice rigidity for the battery packs to kind of yeah keep the shell from, from flexing. Kickstand is on, and let's see how it feels. Very, very stable. And I like the fact that you got the, the back kickstand, and these act as uh, the front kickstand and front bumper, I guess. The headlight looks really protected. As long as these things don't get destroyed, uh, your your uh, headlight is going to uh, survive nicely. This tire is very beefy. It's uh, I'm just I'm curious. The width is yeah. The width is uh, three and one eighth inch. So it's definitely a beefy. And again, if you, um, it's actually 18 inches diameter. So if you compare this to the old, like five plus years ago, the old 18 inch uh, tires, this would, this would have been called an 18 inch tire on steroids, not like a 16 inch tire from the old days. So um, that's why in a way I don't mind these, all these newer compact quote 16 inch suspension wheels to me they to me they feel like 18 inch uh, wheels and uh, the brand is a weird I don't remember I don't recall the name uh, Gary Stone Carrie Stone I think it's a C Carrie Stone <laughs> Anyway, looks cool. Kind of reminds me again like the S22 tire. We shall see how it rides, whether it uh, wants to, uh, whether it's smooth in turns or, uh, or is like the, the CSD tires, not too nice in turns. We shall see. All right, let me show you the headlight on the box. Just to show you the shape. So it looks like it's going to be very nice for oncoming traffic. Bicyclists, pedestrians won't be blinding them. And it does look like you could adjust the angle. There's two, there's two screws on the side, bolts on the side. So that's nice. Here's another view of the shock from above. Really like the looks of it. Love the additional adjustment for compression in addition to the rebound. Really look forward to riding this. I did stand on it, bounce a few times, and it feels, it feels really nice. So I can't wait to take it outside and see how it's going to ride. And uh, this is the rear light. I'll, um, I'll, get a, I'll get a view of that at some point when it's on. Love the handles, the front and back handles. Again, they appear to be metal. 
Uh, I don't think I will ever ride this seated. Apparently there is a seat option, but uh, these wheels are a little too small for me. I'd have to have a really tall seat because of my, uh, my knees. I can't really sit too long if they're bent a lot. So, uh, but for you guys that can ride seated on these kind of wheels, I love the fact that they're including these pop-up type handles in the front to grab onto. There is no lift button as far as I can tell, so you just have, you're gonna have to turn it off. But uh, it's a heavy wheel, but uh, it's about what you'd expect nowadays with these suspension wheels. The charge port's up on top. Very nice gasket. I think I'd still prefer the charge ports to be on the side. Just a little added protection against water ingress. But you got to check out this trolley handle. Okay. Pretty. This feels great. This is in the first position. <laughs> it's wild. Um, it's not a very, it's a pretty flimsy. It feels very flimsy. Very thin gauge um, metal. Yeah, it might be one of the more flimsy, uh, I don't know. You see companies really have a hard time getting the trolley handle just right. Um, but here's the top position. <laughs> so for you uh, seven foot tall riders out there, you're gonna love this uh, trolley handle. It's pretty flimsy up here, <laughs> but it's, I think this may be the tallest trolley handle I have ever um, I've ever experienced so for me I'm pretty sure I'll be uh, using it in a lower position but yeah it's right in the middle of the wheel this is this is how trolley handles need to be all wheels need to have a trolley handle in the middle it's just perfect for wheeling it around now all they need to do is Beef, beef it up quite a bit. Um, I guess they just don't want to design their own, own on their own trolley handles, so they use uh, what they can get from uh, from luggage. <laughs> you can see the daylight running light. I, I really like the in motion headlights are are the best in my opinion. Um, I'm going to put the the side panel's on right now. Now, uh, there were no side power, there were no power pads in the box, uh, but reading the manual, they do come with power pads, but they're uh, supplied separately in a, in a separate box, which I didn't get, and maybe they don't, just don't have them yet, because I don't think those wheels are gonna be sh shipping in quantity for another month, maybe. Um, I'll reach out to Jason and see if he, if they're coming. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to put some uh, Grizzly pads on. But uh, let's see. We're, yeah, again, really love the fact that they are uh, providing side pads. Panels, side panels. Put that on and you're ready to go. Uh, it's it's like many ways. It's like they're really listening to us. In motion is really listening to us in the design of this wheel. Uh, I'm not going to take this wheel apart, at least right now. Uh, depending on how things go, I might take it apart in the future. But I, I know there's some other guys out there that do some fantastic teardown videos. And uh, maybe I'll just let them do that. But so far, I'm loving the build quality. Uh, let me pull you in and show you uh, the display. I don't know yet all that gets displayed on this panel, but uh, and I was able to configure it in the app for um, Imperial for me in America, so I don't have to look at um, kilometers per hour when I ride. Battery percentage and um, also a bar graph representing the battery percentage 
as you can see, the wheel came with about one third charged. Uh, I'll let you know, obviously, when I'm riding it, whether I can see this in the daylight. It's not a touch panel, so they're going with a different, um, moving away from their touch panel design for, like they had on the uh, V12 and V13. But uh, looks nice, at least uh, in ambient light. We'll see again in the sunlight. And again, a little closer look at the charge ports. Again, I think it's kind of odd that they went with uh, the King Song five pin connector, like uh, on the S22, instead of going with what I might have thought would, would have been the the gold standard for 134 volt. Um, but I suspect it probably had to do with that's a much beefier four pin connector. And uh, they probably had um, constraints for fitting those large connectors in here. I thought I would show you the app. This is the I updated the Emotion app just before I um, unboxed the wheel. Uh, so you got the kind of standard thing, configuration. Uh, I'm disconnected from the wheel for some reason. Let's see. Oh yeah, I turned it off. Of course, they're doing their advertising that you have to put up with. Okay, connecting, connected. Um, interesting, even although I configured it for Imperial, which affects the display and the wheel, the display here is still metric. I can live with that. So this is where you're gonna configure all your parameters. Max 70 kilometers per hour, which I think is about 44 miles per hour in that range. Apparently the the free spin, which I can't test right, or I'm not gonna test right now because I'm only at 30% uh, battery, is much higher, so we have a lot of head room. I'm gonna assume that the V13 is very safe like the V, the V, did I say, the V14 is gonna be very safe like the V13 in terms of not being able to uh, accidentally cut out of all the headroom they give you. Uh, but let's see, I was going to, what's diagnosis? I was going to show you the battery information since it's got the smart BMS. 50 GB battery, so I'm not familiar with the GB part, BMS firmware, which I updated, voltage levels for each battery pack, which is cool, whether I'm charging, that'll be interesting, um, error status, all this good stuff, cell balancing, cell voltages, 3.6 volts, or the max cell voltage, I guess, it's reached min. All the good information, you can look at each individual cell if you want. So, uh, very cool. I guess this is coming to all of our wheels before you know it. All right, well, I hope you liked this first look at the InMotion V14. And uh, I'm really excited for this wheel. I uh, can't wait to uh, start playing with it. So it's nighttime here. I'm going to uh, charge it up overnight and then tomorrow I'll take it for uh, my first ride. I don't think I'll do a f actual range test, semi-range test, just kind of get a feel for uh, whether I can do a full uh, 57 mile range test, which I've done with my um, master and the Commander Mini, also 2400 watt hour wheels. Because uh, I want to, you know, just kind of compare, see if it 
gets comparable range to those other wheels. So uh, tomorrow will just be my first ride. I'll bring you along and uh, stick around for uh, more videos. And again, of course, I, um, I'll be testing, you know, my kind of test, right? Medium speeds, do trail riding, take it up in the mountains, see how, how it does in terms of heat, all that kind of good stuff. But I happen to know some of the best riders in the world that uh, live not too far from me, <laughs> which you know some of them. So um, they will be getting their hands on this wheel too, and uh, they'll be uh, testing the upper limits. So uh, stick around for more uh, V14 content. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, safe riding.